at the Air Force Academy and we're doing our closeout filming with Moshi. Moshi Caffrey, one of the best dog trainers I've ever met. I've worked dogs in the military and, uh, and we've done a lot of aggression work and a whole bunch of different things. I just didn't have that special training that Moshi has and he got it from his mentor. Uh, my family and I called on him uh, in fact, I researched the dog whisperer, Richard Hines, is how I found Moshi, because I, I found his website, and uh, Richard is an, like top-notch dog trainer, and uh, he understands dogs the way nobody else did. Well, I found out that Moshi had gone through uh, Richard's uh, training academy, and uh, I didn't have the skill set to deal with it. He, Picasso, was coming up on my boys, I drew blood. It was to the point upon me. It was to the point where I almost had to put uh, Picasso down until I found Richard and Moshi. And Moshi has been with us for months now working with Picasso and uh, without him we wouldn't be where we are. I honestly believe that we would have had to put Picasso down because of the aggression that he was displaying to the family. And it came out of the blue. Um, I've trained him, uh, he's well trained, but uh, this was just way above uh, my skill set. Moshi is a great dog trainer. If you need help in all kinds of different areas of dog training, seek out Moshi. And if you're in the Florida area, seek out Richard. They're top notch. Thank you so much to both of you, to Moshi and to Richard. Thank you so much from me and my family. We appreciate it. Hi everybody, Moshi Kafu is a difference maker dog trainer. Today's case is uh, Picasso, a German Shepherd, a great dog, great pedigree, awesome drive, uh, to a point that at four years old, out of the blue, he decided to turn on his family and attack everybody. Attack the two sons, attack the mother, and then turn on his master on team. It came out of nowhere. The family have some speculations about why it happened, but um, he called me and uh, we decided to work on the case and solve it. Tim used to be a dog handler in the military for 14 years. He did a tremendous job training his dog, but when it came to this sudden attack, he was at a loss and he needed an, out needed an outside help. This is where I came in. Uh, for me, I impl implemented the method that I learned with my coach and mentor, Richard Hines, that goes by the Miami Dog Whisperer. In my opinion, one of the best dog trainers in the world. Now, this case is different than normal aggression cases. Most cases, the dog will attack me, strangers, other dogs, in this case, which is pretty rare, it happened, I have maybe six or seven cases like this before, that the dog actually, something flipped and he turns on the family. And uh, this was extreme aggression, but we addressed it. And you can see the results, the dog is back to his own, he's back to normal, he's doing great now. And overall, the system works. I can't give enough credit to Tim, Valerie, <clears throat> Brandon and Michael, the, 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 the kids. They took everything I said and implemented it to the T. Now, yes, I'm a straight shooter and I, I say it the way it is and sometimes it's hard for people to implement because I'm asking a lot, but I'll tell you that. We had some heart-to-heart -heart talks when they felt sorry for the dog at times, but then they got with the program and understood that this is the only way we're going to get out of this deep hole. And you know what? It worked. So with this being said, let's go and watch some stuff. So Michael and Brandon, yep. Tim and Valerie. Yes. Why? My memory is still working, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Better than mine. Okay. Talk to me. 
So, Moshi, the reason we called you out here today is because we have a 40-year-old German Shepherd, Picasso, who is Michael's dog. We got him uh, when Michael's 14. And uh, here lately, uh, and when I say lately, it's a couple times, how long ago? Eight months, ten months? Probably about a year, year yeah. and a half. It's when the first sign Yeah, started. a little bit of aggression mm -hmm. came up then, but it's really been progressively worse here in the recent month, month mm -hmm. or so. And so to the point where he's tried to attack Michael, he's tried to attack Brendan, and um, so we want to try to get this corrected. It's causing a lot of stress in the family, and, uh, and you know, Picasso's part of the family, and we want to resolve this so that we can all live together the way we're supposed to. Um, so I saw uh, the dog whisperer in Miami, Richard Hines. I saw some video on you uh, training with him. And uh, way back when, I used to be a dog handler in the military. And uh, I liked your approach. His approach was definitely different than all the 100% uh, positive reinforcement, which just doesn't work all the time right. and so that's why I reached out to you okay. and uh, that's kind of where we're at right now uh, I guess kind of just try and help our dog Picasso and try and get him back on track because for the past I would say year or so he's been kind of iffy with us and he's been trying to go at us a little bit but now it's really progressed to something that it can't really go on any longer because it's really just impacting the whole family and it's also making a negative environment for him I feel so it's pretty much it for me I guess did he broke skin with you yeah he, he broke skin he kind of like jumped on me and scratched me a little bit but nothing too bad like and before that he's kind of broken skin a little bit but nothing by too biting bad. yeah okay let me jump in there briefly when he says not too bad each time we've had to pull him off so it hasn't had he hasn't Picasso hasn't had the ability to go full attack on him, so we don't know I how see. far he would go or not. Yeah, pretty, pretty much the pretty much the same. Picking the back off of Michael, just trying to figure out what's going on with him, get the situation corrected. Because yeah, it's definitely brought a lot of stress onto the household, and you know we don't want to have anything bad happen to Picasso either. You know because we want to keep him around, part of the family. We don't want to have to put him down or give him away. Uh, that's never the option, at least with us. But yeah, I'm tired of getting jumped on and having to walk on eggshells, so. For me, because um, it's escalated in the last several weeks, I'm, I'm becoming more fearful about correcting him because once he gets in the moment of his attack or defense, then it's kind of like he doesn't hear anything. Yeah. And, he's you know, he's world. fixated on it. So okay. that's kind of, you know, I, I'm looking for, um, I'm looking for all this to calm down where we don't have to get to that extreme okay. and not be afraid to put a collar on our, you know, our dog and, you know, be afraid that my kids are going to get jumped out of the blue, you know? Right. So. Nelson and I were working together. Uh, this was after he had shown signs of aggression to my sons. And uh, we were doing some stuff. Moshi had had us use a muzzle, and I was just trying to get him into the car, and he wasn't going. All of a sudden, he came up on me. He was trying to get my throat in my face. Had that muzzle not been on, he would have got me. And he kept coming. And then finally, and that stopped the attack. But uh, for a good, I don't know, it was at least a solid minute. He was coming after me, clawing me and trying to get my face. That happened in the garage, but it also happened in the house a couple times. Uh, and then it's happened to my sons as well. Right there. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? And I'm just going to come walking out with him, right? I want you to stand. I want you to come with him. Right here? Stand right there. Yeah, right. Stand there. Okay. And I'll tell you when, you know, and then. Okay. When he, if I go there and he shows signs that he wants to attack me, 
goes in forward until he engages me. Okay. But let him get close to me and let him bite me. Okay. No. Today, when we did a lot of the stuff that he would normally growl at me, taking off the, or playing with the e-collar, the muzzle, feeding, whatever, he didn't growl. And I think it's because you're here and that adds a different dynamic, but also it could well be that he's feeling your energy uh, as opposed to ours, because now we're a little, we're a little reluctant because he's come up on us a little bit. So maybe he is sensing the fear in us uh, more so, and then when you're here, we feel more confident with you being here, and then our fear uh, goes away, and he doesn't pick up those pheromones or whatever. So it's just a theory. I don't know for sure, but it might be. Do it. See, All right. See how he's doing? Yes. Okay, so put it back and say it. Okay, go ahead, Picasso. Okay. Picasso, here. Go ahead. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's fine. Here we go. Oh boy. So he took a couple of times. That's yeah. fine. Let me understand something before. Let me ask you a question. So you say that when you take it off or put it on, the muzzle, he growls. Yeah. And when he, sometimes when I'm just reaching for around there, he'll growl. Okay. So. Let's see. Stand right next to him. Right next to him. Okay, that's it. Okay. Okay. Now Back take again, it. Yes, and yeah, yeah muzzle, muzzle on. Here. You are ready? Yes, I am. Okay. Be ready. Okay. Stand like this. Oh, Good. Very good. Put it back down. Out. Sit. Okay. All right. Okay. That's good. That's you read my mind. Slow. Okay. Yep. Have him come, no, no, have him come to Here. you. No, yeah, never go to him, okay? Puzzle. Yep. Okay. Do we have more food? Yeah, I do. Touch. Send him back? House. Okay. You may call him to me first and then house or straight to house? Straight to house. Okay. House. Now call him back out. Here. In back. Here. Say house. House. Come on. Come on. Try it out. I'm going to see how my bumper real quick. Okay. Well, do you understand why I ask you to do it in different angle yeah. and in different position? Yeah, because I'm standing over him. It's different for him. So. Okay. Do it like you always do, all the commands, everything. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, that's it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Out. Down. Touch. Sit. Keep.
Yep. Down. Yep. Close. Okay, before you continue, I want to say something to you. This, the job that you did in training him, okay, is beautiful. Again, do it. Again. Out. Down. Yep. Fine. Place. Okay, find it. Yes, good boy, he got it. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy, Picasso. Right. Okay. He loves good boy. I'll do one or two more. Say it again. He loves these games, oh. you know. Yep. No, we are going to go back to it because I want what I want to do. I want to take a break mm -hmm. just to get him to, to calm him down. Right. Now, I, what I see today at least, at least if I'm here or if not here, I don't know where the difference is, but I don't think it's me. But Okay, find it. Because we stopped all this. Yes, but yeah. this is a way of... This is a way of... Um, Hold him up a little, he'll get pissed, a little more angry. Get him, please. Hold him off his front feet. Please. Fine. Do I tell him P L A C E or No, just go around, he's supposed to follow. Go the other way. He's supposed to two front feet, stay on there. Okay, get it. Good boy. Okay. Sit. Here. Down. Sit. Up. Sit. Down. Down. Up. Oh, you ready to go bye bye? All right. You ready to go? We're going. You ready to go play? That's what he's been doing. Well, that's good. Well, there's no attacks. That's the important thing. You know what I'm saying? That is true. House. Do I hear it from there? Is that... Here. 
You can give him praise. Good boy. Good boy. Touch. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we're supposed to be loving him up now. We are at the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs and we are going to do some drills with Picasso. Uh, this is Tim and Picasso is German Shepherd. Tim was a dog handler for 14 years in the military in his past, what we call in, the, in his good days, right? His young prime days. <laughs> Here you go. And uh, we are going to show some drills that he does with his dogs and uh, to show the drives that Picasso have. Down. Down. Here. Out. Heel. Nope, down, down. He's, he's behaving like a normal dog right now. Good boy. Because then it has all those different distractions. Yes, and different dogs, you see. Uh, I've worked as a dog handler in the Army, and uh, we, we couldn't get it under control. Uh, he actually drew blood on Michael. Uh, he was going after Brennan. He went up on me. 
when we were doing some stuff, I had the muzzle after we were training, and he almost got my face. Had I not had the muzzle on, he would have got my throat and my face. Uh, all I can tell you is, listen to what Moshe says, because we could have sped this up a whole lot faster, but we, the family, weren't on board. So uh, I highly recommend Moshe's, Moshe's uh, training techniques, and uh, if you've got a problem dog, he'll be able to help you. We needed help, so we found Moshi, and I have to say, you know, since this journey began, we've made some mistakes, like Tim said, um, the, you know, it, it's a little bit more difficult when you're dealing with multiple people trying to stay on a training program, because we all have our opinions, but at the end of the day, um, you know, once we started to focus and, and implement you know the recommendations and the training uh, recommendations that um, that Moshi brought to the table I think that we were able to accomplish a lot and get to where we are today so um, yeah with that said thank you Moshi. Brendan? Uh, yeah piggybacking off of, off of after my parents um, Picasso was getting real aggressive and starting to go up on me and my brother uh, and then my dad after and uh, that's when that's when they found you and then we started this whole this whole thing to try to get Picasso back to back to somewhere predictable and into a better state of mind but yeah it is definitely been a process I mean I haven't been part of I mean part of the whole process but after going through a couple of lessons with you and and adhering to what you had to say, um, Picasso has definitely changed his attitude for the most part him and I have been able to work it out and, and move on um, uh, the attitude changed tremendously though I haven't felt worried or scared or anything like that I can feel come up come up the stairs with confidence without without him ripping my face off so <laughs> definitely uh, definitely recommend Moshi services because He's definitely helped out a helped out a whole bunch so and again those hiccups that Brendan's referencing because we're not following the plan. Save yourself some pain, listen to what Moshi says, apply it. Of course you know your dog as well, but just get on the plan and he will get your dog squared away. So thank you so much, Moshi, we appreciate it. Thank you, Moshi. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, the difference maker, dog trainer, Moshi Kafri, at your service. Woof.